Team Mongers! Let's start as we always do with the Mighty Minute! Hot water down a bunny hole. I don't know. Hot cross bunnies! There's a slide. And the four picture, four children in the desert um, are going down the slide and there's a sign on it that says What uh whatever you say going down this slide you will get. Ooh. And the first person um is greedy and they say mummy and they die in the desert uh -huh. and the second person is clever and they say food and water and they live forever oh. the third person is even cleverer and they say home and they go home and the third person couldn't be bothered to read the sign and goes wee and falls into wee <laughs> Hey Evie, did you know it takes 10 sheep to make a jumper? I didn't know sheep could knit. Who's <laughs> <laughs> there? Kangaroo. Kangaroo who? Kangaroo who eats pizza. Do you have a joke? If you do, film it landscape and send it in to Mighty Mungos at sitmungos.org and maybe next time we'll see you on Joke of the Week. Mighty Mongos, we want to be known as people who are thankful. That's why we have gratitude attitude. Let's see who sent in their videos this week. Ba -ba 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 to Mighty Mungos. We love seeing all of your faces. It's time for WhatsApp. <laughs> Every morning when I wake I get ready, I get ready Got my armor for the day I get ready, I get ready This way, this way I know you're with me every 
got the sword and the spirit, the shield of faith, the belt of truth around my waist. When I feel weak, you make me strong, never back down. I got my God suit on.
was once asked, how would I know you were a Christian if I came to your house? Well, there are lots of answers to that. There might be a Bible or a Christian book lying around, perhaps some God-inspired art. I have an ichthys fish by my front door. But a good clue would be what music you could hear. Sometimes it's Disney themes or the radio. But there's often worship playing in our house and it's very varied. It might be Slingshot from Nick and Becky Drake or Cageless Birds or Hillsong. It might be an old delirious song to dance around to or maybe some classic Graham Kendrick. Possibly a St Mungo's soaking session being replayed or one of our Spotify playlists which combine them all and create some interesting juxtapositions. Whatever my mood, there's a worship song to either fit the feeling or shift the feeling. And the Psalms are like that too. There are Psalms that declare God's awesomeness and shout his praise at the top of your voice. There are Psalms that cry out and weep in despair at seeming abandonment. There are Psalms that declare facts as the writer reminds himself of the truths he knows about God. There are psalms that are poetic and descriptive. And there are psalms that stir up memories of God's faithfulness. Many worship songs are based on the psalms. And while the Bible sometimes describes the tune that a psalm was originally sung to, that's not much help to me. But modern, can I call Ian White or Graham Kendrick modern? Modern songs put the words of the Psalms in my head, in my heart and out of my mouth. Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known among the nations what he has done. Sing to him. Sing praise to him. Tell of all his wonderful acts. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Psalm 106. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. The beginnings of these two psalms inspired a worship song we still sometimes sing, but the memory it stirs for me is of my baptism. I was 17 and had been a Christian for three years. Before heading off to university, I felt it was right to be baptised. And so along with two others, I was baptised in the swimming pool of Bolarno High School by Malcolm Round and Graham Wilson. It was a wonderful event when I spoke out loud of having discovered how much God loved me and how I intended to serve him for the rest of my life. And as I read back on that psalm, I recall God's hand upon me then and ever since. Every day I give thanks to the Lord. I have shared his love and told of his glory in different countries. I sing to him all the time. Can I really not sing? I've rejoiced in him and I rely upon his strength. And if I'm feeling alone or I'm struggling or I can't hear God's voice, I can turn to worship. I can sing badly and I can fill my head and my heart with the words of this and other psalms. David, who wrote this psalm, used the words of it when he was king. We can read in Chronicles about when he used it as he led the ark in a procession. The words were a call to worship and then teaching. Psalm 105 goes on to recall how God stayed true to his promises to Moses and Abraham and Jacob and Joseph. And Psalm 106 goes even further describing God's rescue of his chosen people. And it finishes with this declaration. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. It's like a praise and teaching sandwich. So if you're feeling happy, read a psalm. If you're feeling sad, read a psalm. When you're upset, read a psalm. When you're scared, read a psalm. When you just want to praise God, but you can't find the words, read a psalm. 
Read a psalm, sing a psalm and use the words to remember all that God has done for you and be assured of all that he will do for you. It's confession time. I often find it easier to remember the words of a song than a psalm. And I think I'm okay with that. I know that I am singing biblical truth and I'm more than happy to be singing psalms instead of songs from the Descendants or 80s Britpop. Here at Mighty Mongos, we'd love to get the Word of God in our heart and in our mind. And that is why we have the Memory Verse Challenge. Let's see who sent the videos in this week. I praise you, I am fearfully, wonderfully made. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And the memory fish for this week is, John Well, please. Depend on the Lord for strength. Always go to him for help. Psalm 105 verse 4. Good morning and welcome to Mighty Mungo's News. Three things for you this morning. The first one is that if you are in the preschool group in our Livingston congregation, then next Sunday, 9.15am, get ready for your Zoom event where you need to bring your favourite toy and that special envelope that Caroline delivered. Those of you who join me on Zoom on Mondays, there's no Zoom tomorrow. So I'll see you next week. And finally, this morning, I can't wait for the second instalment of Ella's interviews. Here she is. Hi guys. In this segment, we're going to be interviewing some of the past and present youth members. Today, I've got Molly with me. Why don't you introduce yourself, Molly? Okay. Hello, my name is Molly. I'm 18, gonna turn 19 in May, and I study musical theatre full time. Um, I'm doing a degree in it, and I also run a teaching company for music lessons for kids. So, Molly, did you grow up in the church? I grew up in St. Mungo's my whole life. I got baptised there. I think I was 15 when I got baptised. Mungles was my home church for many years. And how do you spend your lazy days? I don't get many lazy days, but when I do, I have this on, my Udi, and I watch Netflix, either a crime programme or Friends. That sounds about right. So is there a certain time that you recall becoming a Christian? I think I did it at Lendrup Muir one year, I think I was S1 and Sarah Toome was doing, Mother Toome as I call her, was doing a talk and I remember committing my um, life to Christ in S1 and yeah, I remember being nervous, um, I had like sweaty hands, my heart was beating really fast but um, best decision ever made just stick my hand up or stand up, I can't remember what it was, but um, yeah, we'd never go back on that decision. And um, if you had to give one piece of advice to our viewers on Mighty Mungos, what would it be? I think just to not care what anyone thinks. If you want to wear your hair up in a messy bun, do it. Just feel the fear and do it anyway. Thank you, Molly, and thank you all for watching this segment on Mighty Mongos. I should see you all next week to find out more about our older youth team. Bye. Love you. That's it. Our time together is almost over. But before we go, there is, of course, time for our favourite section, which is... Translation. Family Face Off!
That's, that's it. it. Our time together on Mighty Mongos has come to an end for another week. Don't forget to stick around, watch out for the Sunday selfies, grab yourself a drink and a snack, and we'll be back here at 10.30 for the main service. And if you've got a little bit of time, why not? Take a 40. Take a 40 <laughs> and send it in to mightymongos at samongos.org or send it in for a Sunday selfie in a future week. But that's all for Mighty Mongos this week.